Hey foodies, Chef Pete here, and I'm making a feta chicken Greek salad. And I have feta cheese here, which I wish you guys could smell it. It's beautiful feta cheese. And I have over here, which I've taken out of our poaching liquid over here. Poaching liquid, okay? And if you watch How to Poach Chicken Breast, uh, we have a videotape up on how to poach them, okay? And here I have some chicken breast meat that I'm going to cut up and make our chicken salad with today, okay? Our Greek chicken feta salad. So the first thing we're going to do is get a couple of stalks of celery and dice them up. Because remember, we're making a salad. we got to have some texture to go with our meat. We're going to dice up our celery just like this. All the way down, all the way down, we're going to cut them up. I like all the nice pieces of the leaves. Just make sure you clean it up, wash it good when you're doing it. Make sure you wash it really good, okay? And try and take any of the ribs that are there off so you have a nice piece of celery, okay? All right. So into our bowl, we're going to go with our celery. We're going to get our celery in here, just like this. And then I've decided today, instead of putting regular bell peppers in, I'm going to put some roasted bell red peppers, okay? And, and so we open the lid here just like everybody else does we tap it and it pops open okay and then what I'm going to do is pull out some of these beautiful roasted these are cento I, for those of you that have been watching me for a while you know I love cento products so we'll get some roasted red peppers in here These look good. okay and what we're going to do is dice these up and we're going to get them into our we're going to dice them up now. I'm going to take the knife and just cut them right through like this. And then cut them this way. You see? Just like this. We're going to cut them up and get them right into our celery. All right. So now we're ready to go, right? Okay. Now I have chicken that I poached over here. And what we're going to do is take this chicken and I'm going to cut it up so we have chicken for our chicken salad, right? I poached this chicken and you can see I'm going to just cut through it here just kind of like this and you can see how nice the chicken poached. It's nice and soft and beautiful and it's going to be delicious and we're just going to kind of sort of dice this up a little. Now you can leave this in your refrigerator and then do it. It won't shred as much when you cut it, but I like to take it within 15-20 minutes and just cut it right up. Cut it right up. In there it goes. And everybody do what you like. Okay. Alright, so then we're going to cut this all up. Just like this. And then I have another one over here. I'm going to cut this way. See how beautiful it is? Nice and cooked and delicious, beautiful chicken breast here we have. And we're going to cut him and cut him and cut him. And then I'm going to come over here and cut him and cut him and cut him and cut him. Just cut him up. Because we, we, we make meals out of these salads. And you've seen me do this before, everybody. And we need to have a good couple of... Two, three cups of this beautifully poached chicken meat. Look at that. Look at this, how nice it looks in here. Beautiful. The colors are absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to cut up the rest of this, just like this. And I'm going to cut him up, just like this. Tell about the person that said about the chopping it up. Oh, yeah, we had somebody that likes it chopped up because, you know... We chop things good here in uh, Carpizzo's Kitchen, so I mixed all that up real good, okay? So now what we're going to do is get some more seasonings in there, and let me get this board out of the way. Just move it out of the way here. All right, so now what we're going to do, we've got those items in, okay? Now I need some seasoning, so let's start and give it some salt and pepper. You put it 
to your taste. Remember, we're making Greek and we're also putting in some feta cheese and that's salty. So I'm just going to give this about a teaspoon of regular kosher salt, okay? And pepper, pepper, I'm going to give it about half a teaspoon of pepper, just like that, okay? All right. Now, I decided instead of putting onion today, I'm going to put chives. And chives are perfectly fine, so let's get, oh, about three teaspoons in here for this. That should be enough. And then, with the chives, I have some nice dill, which helped to make things Greek with a little dill, right? Okay, so I think a good teaspoonful should be quite enough to do the job. Okay, and that gets our beautiful meat with our celery and our peppers and our chives, because I didn't put onion, but you can chop onion if you like. Use a red onion. Now we're going to hold the feta cheese back, okay? All right, so I'm going to set this to the side. Let's get our bowl and make a sauce for this, okay? So I need some mayo. And because I like a lot of sauce here, you can do this with a half a cup or a cup. So I'm going to use about a cup of mayo here. And this is just a little short. Now, there we go. Okay, a cup of mayo is what we got. And then I'm going to put sour cream with it here today. And I'm going to do about the same, about a cup of sour cream, because I want more sauce than the recipe calls for about half a cup and half a cup, but I like more sauce than the recipe calls for, okay? And then into this, into this, I'm going to put uh, the, mix this up, okay? I'm going to mix it up. I'm sorry, everybody. And we're going to get this mixed up together, this mayo and this sour cream, and it makes it for a nice mayo and sour cream okay and we already salted our there we go we got it and there we go okay so now we have a nice everything is all mixed up together all right come back with our salad over here and I am going to take half of this because I made twice as much and I am going to put it into our Greek feta salad okay and we're gonna go with about half of this right here there we go half of it right here alrighty and I'm gonna hold the other half back and then the last thing I'm going to do the last thing I'm going to do is throw in about four ounces of feta cheese right in just like that absolutely just throw it right in. Then we're going to mix this all up so we get nice. Ooh, that smells good. Delightful Greek feta chicken with poached chicken. And you can use it if you're on a keto diet. And there, that's all there is to it. Very simple, very easy to make. And just do a quick taste to make sure that you have enough salt and pepper. And I'm going to do that now. It's absolutely perfect. Believe it or not, it is perfect. And so there we have it. Okay, so there is the Greek chicken salad. And we're going to plate this up and we'll show you at the table how it looks. So this is Pete. Always give it a try. I tried to give you new things to do and go to the playlist. We put all of this in there for you. All of the recipes are together. So this is Pete, as always, thanking you all, out.